Good morning, everyone. Becky Belote here. I am a Creative Memories Advisor in Newport News, Virginia. And today I have another tip and it's a scrapbooking tip. And um, to, before I forget, for my locals that watch me, um, that are, you know, cl my clients of mine, I do have my pajama crop this weekend, and I do have about four or five more spots if you want to join. Um, it's this Friday and Saturday. It's a sleepover if you want, or you can go home if you want. You can wear your pajamas if you want. I am or not, it doesn't really matter, but we're going to have a ton of fun. Um, we're going to play some cool games and have pizza and breakfast so anyways i hope that you'll you'll join us just reach out if you need more information otherwise we need to get going on this tip so uh, what i'll be focusing on today is our double fan again i have another idea with it uh, this is the one this is what it looks like um and also um just a little something something with the um the champagne toast uh punch all right, so let's take a look. Thanks for tuning in today. I don't know about you all, but Virginia is beautiful right now. The weather is amazing. All right, so first, uh, first things first, um, just wanted to uh, let you see what the champagne toast punch looks like. Um, to do this, again, we just, I just taught you this with the, um, with the duck punch and I've showed you with other punches to get the even space. And if you want to do a border like this, like sometimes we want the trash. So the pieces that come out of the hole. So sometimes that's your goal with a punch is to, to use the actual punch that comes out, but sometimes it's, you can do the reverse. So you could put a pretty um, silver paper behind here to have you know, uh, like a silver piece of uh, a platinum is our, is our color of the shimmery um, silver or a white shimmer would be really pretty uh, behind this. And then you would see, uh, you would see without actually having to apply the glasses, you would see this, the, the beautiful shape of the glasses um, and the little star. So we've get, we get little champagne flutes and we get little stars. But what I realized, so anyways, um, to do this even pace, just a reminder from last week, I think I did it last week. If you put the punch in so that the paper is at the edge and punch and then scoot it over just so that the, um, let's see, just so that your last punch is right at the edge and punch again it, every time, then it will be evenly spaced. So that's a great way to get a really fast and pretty border using the champagne toast. Pretty, huh? All right. Um, but what I also wanted to point out to you is that if you uh, flip, flip your champagne flute upside down, it kind of takes on a different look. This kind of reminds me of like of a bottle of uh, spray and wash. Um, with the nozzle, something with the nozzle. So again, play with your colors and you can get a totally different look. What I also saw, if you all had a little kayak or a canoe, uh, this would definitely look like a paddle, wouldn't it? So I wanted you to um, open your eyes to that. Um, another thing, if you snip this little uh, nozzle off here, then you have another look which to me looks suspiciously like a wine bottle. So you can get a wine bottle. We do have a, a really cool wine punch, but sometimes you just, um, a wine border punch, but sometimes you might just want a bottle. And then what I did, this was the page spread um, that I did the border for last week. Um, and I hate it when I just do the border and don't finish the page for you. So I did finish the page for you this morning, but I also added where I chopped the, the head off of the champagne flute, the, the base, flipped it upside down and then put some flowers out of it. So it's also a beautiful flower vase. And um, I used the three in one punch. Um, this one, there's three punches, hence three in one, but there's three different punches in the box when you get these. And this is one of the three punches and it has all these little doodads that came out. And um, that is how I made this daffodil looking flower coming out of that bottle. So anyways, I hope you like that. Just a little something, something about that punch in case you have it um, or you need it. You can know that it's a little bit more versatile than you may have thought. 
All right, so today what I wanted uh, to teach you how to do is on um, a really fun, easy page. Because 4th of July is coming up, for whatever reason, when I see this punch, I'm still seeing fireworks, aren't you? Um, it's really pretty. It also looks like um, scallop shells. So I'm seeing a lot of really cool things with this. But I definitely see fireworks. And because not this weekend, but next weekend is 4th of July, I thought you might want to keep that in mind. So I'm going to show a really quick thing. I'm using this, but this is what the border looks like if you do nothing else with the, um, the double fan chain. I am going to go ahead and make uh, two more of these borders real fast for you. Never seen the border maker system. Crazy easy. Put your paper on the tray. Fold the tray back. Put your cartridge that you want in. We have oodles of them. They're collector's items. They keep on coming. Um, and you, literally, you can close your eyes because your punch only punches properly when it goes into this little space that is nestled underneath. So they've got all these little notches where these notches fit. So it's very easy to do. So that's one. I needed two of these. So I'm going to do one more. you could see my eyes because sometimes I just sit here with my eyes shut just because I can <laughs> when my customers are watching me sometimes I do that just to prove that really it is that easy um and if you don't if you haven't tried that before try it because it makes you feel like really like you're like you know like a, a expert border maker cutter <laughs> just being silly today all right so there we go so then what I would like you to do, um, if you want to duplicate this page, take your trash. So this is what came out of this punch, okay? This is our trash. And I'm going to stick my trash down. Um, I'm just going to, this is um, repo, and I'm just going to run it across the top so that I don't have to take too much time doing this. And uh, I'm just going to put it down, repositionable if you're not familiar with it. Um, it it um you can put things down and then take it back off again if you want to, which is nice for an older picture that you may not you know want st stuck down permanently. It does become permanent over time, like any of our other. Um, however, it's really great, especially when you're doing stuff like this. It's fast. I could um, roll away any that is still left. Like you know, after you do it, you can actually just roll away the pieces that you don't want there. So it's, it's really um, a very fast adhesive for something like what I'm doing right now, rather than to individually apply every single one of these with a little bit of adhesive. And you're watching me, so I do care how much time I'm taking of yours. I really appreciate you tuning in every week. It is um, such an honor and a pleasure. I'm totally grateful that you all find my pages interesting. So there we go. All right, then um, this was, so the red came out of the same piece of paper. It was red on one side, blue on the other. So um, I could put this in same side. Um, I could put it in opposite side where you just nestle it back into those holes if you want to. Um, or if you want to totally get a different look, you can flip it this way. So I just wanted to wanted you to see all the different looks. I don't even know whether I want to stick it down now because I like them both so much. I don't know which one I'm going to do. Uh, why, if y'all are making comments today, why don't you tell me which way you would like me to stick it? All right. So, um, so that that's that. So the other thing I wanted to teach you how to do, and I made some notes to myself on this. Um, I am going. So I cut these two extras because I'm going to use it to mat a photo. So um, go ahead and cut yourself a piece of paper, four inch, that's easy to remember because photos are four by six, right? So four inch by five and three quarters. So the four inch part is easy, right? All right, now for five and three quarters, we're gonna need to um, extend this out. All right, so here's the five, here's the six. 
And um, it's a little tricky, trickier when we get over here because you can't see your markings very well. But your five and a quarter mark is prominently marked right here. Your five and a half is actually in the groove. And um, the five and three quarters would be your longest notch that hangs down between the five and the six, but on this side. So that's where I'm going to cut it at five and three quarters. So it's four by five and three quarters. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put it here. I'm going to have a have um I want it to match the other side that I am staring at right now. All right. So when you're trying to frame using um your border maker uh a border from the border maker, keep in mind that typically every two little small things make an inch. All right. So um or actually each one is an inch. One, two, three, four. So this is four inches. So I'm going to snip it at four inches. And I'm going to snip it at four inches again. And then, I mean, I think that looks really cute right there, actually, don't you? Um, and then I want um, six inches. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this one should also be a six. That's Pico in the background. My dogs are suspiciously quiet right now. It's kind of a, an afternoon lull. I'm broadcasting a little later than usual. And that may be the trick, like the trash man has already come through. I mean, it's crazy. So do you like that? All right. And um, when you stick it down, um, again, the repo is great for this. But I, I, what I want is um, I want the little white nodules to go on the white because I think it looks super pretty. Um, but I don't want any black showing here, here, and here. I like the black showing through here, but um, I just want it there. Does that make sense? Yes, Becky, it makes sense. Excellent. All righty. So I wish I could hear you guys but then it would probably be disruptive. You, you all would probably distract me, quite honestly. I get easily distracted. All right. Isn't that pretty? So another good thing about the repo is when you do have holes in something, it doesn't really matter. It's sticking to the paper and it's missing the holes. So that's perfect. All right. And then, you know, you can throw some other little mats down, maybe add some color. I do have some scraps left over from this red. I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do a couple more journal boxes with the red. Doesn't really matter the sizing. And that's really up to you know your, you and your photos. Um, so I just want you to see a finished page, and um, with, and so when you do yours, definitely you're going to cut yours to fit your photos. But um, I think I might do something like that. And this is the other side. Make some room here, and we'll decide about this border. I'll let y'all decide. That'll be kind of fun to help you decide because I like them both a lot. Um, there we go. Oh, and by the way, I wanted you to see like, like there's nothing in this space, but clearly we're going to put a photo in there. So go ahead and jot this down. I think a three by five um, cut on your photo is going to look really pretty in there. See, see, it's like the right spacing. So, um, so a three by five is, is your perfect size to cut your photo down to fit in that space. All right, I made notes myself because I know that you all like measurements. So there we have it. Um, this is the stars and spirits paper line and sticker line. They've got stickers that match.
that's how I used did this little embellishment here. This is a little journal box. I'll hold it a little closer so you can see. I did use some pop up squares um, to you know our foam squares to give that rise to that pretty little embellishment there. Do you love it? And then I do feel like I have room for um, another mat over here. Might need to cut that down, maybe just a tiny bit. But anyway, so what do y'all like? I'm going to do one this way. And I'm going to do one this way. And if you are the comment type of person, if you would comment which way you think looks prettier. And that's how I'll stick it down for my clients for the pajama crop this weekend. All right. Um, a lot of you have been asking about my blog. Um, I am getting ready to put out a blog um, and I'm going to try. It's my um, since conference. I've been re-inspired to be uh, more consistent and I'm going to try to get more page spreads up on my blog. So um, you should also follow me on scrapbookwithbecky.com if you are a page fanatic. And I suspect, quite honestly, just guessing, that some of you are. Um, some of you asked to join my uh, my VIP group, and uh, my VIP group is for my clients. So a lot of times I get requests, and I say no that I won't let you in because I know you're not my client um, because you tell me that you have an advisor, you know. And I I hope I hope that you will respect that. It's very complicated for me. Um, I want to treat my clients the way I want to treat my clients. And um, I don't even let my advisor team in there because my advisors have another place where we hang out. So there's no reason for them to be in there. And for those of you that are fellow advisors, nothing personal. Um, I, I, I just, I mean, I, I like to publish my ideas. I do that. I want everybody to share them and use them. I love that. But I also want to know who my clients are. And sometimes when there's names that I don't know, I, it, it gets confusing. So, so no offense. There's nothing sneaky going on <laughs> in my VIP group. It is just so that I can communicate better with my clients. So um, if you um, want to be one of my clients because you don't have an advisor, it's, uh, uh, it's also uh, mm, that one is uh, Becky's Creative Memory Scrapper Group. OK, um, but anybody, I don't care who you are, you can follow my blog and get ideas from that. I would love that. In fact, it makes me feel um, special. And that is on scrapbookwithbecky.com. OK, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye now.